Addition polymerization is how we can make very large molecules from very small ones, and this uses the alkene addition reaction. Okay, so um, in an addition reaction, you know that a small molecule is added to an alkene, and it makes an alkane. Um, polymerization works the same way, it, but instead of adding a small molecule, you basically link together uh, alkenes that are side by side each other. All right, so we're gonna, in order to illustrate this, we're going to look at the formation of polyethylene. This is more commonly known as polyethylene, and more, and even more commonly known as plastic. So this is like the plastic that makes up plastic bags, uh, yogurt containers, buckets, all that sort of common everyday material plastic. All right, so we'll draw uh, a number of ethene molecules. All right, eth two carbons, ene, alkene, so this, there's nothing different. These are very small uh, molecules, only two carbons in them each. Okay. Each ethene molecule uh, would have a uh, boiling point well, well, well under zero degrees Celsius. Okay, but you can look at something like plastic and you notice that, well, no, that's very much a, uh, that's very much a solid at room temperature. So there's something that happens. So the polymerization process works as follows. These red arrows each represent an electron. So from each double bond, one electron uh, basically is transferred uh, out beside the alkene, if you will. And what we end up finding is that um, a bond forms between each of the uh, ethene molecules. So I'm going to redraw the ethenes. Okay, but notice how I'm drawing them now as ethanes. All right, I've removed the double bond between the carbon atoms. All right, and I'm going to replace what was just an empty space between two molecules. I'm going to redraw the bond, but I'll color code it in red. So now each of those ethane type or the C2H4 units those are all connected to each other so now what I've gone and done where I had five discrete molecules on the screen I've actually now just got one long chain alright so this essentially goes on forever in each direction alright and the resulting molecule is known as a polymer okay poly meaning many so there are many 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 of the monomer units that have been linked together the resulting chain is known as polyethene Okay, it's named for the monomer from which it originates. All right, so shown in green is what's known as the repeating unit. It's the monomer without the double bond. So C2H4, just that formula, it would be known as ethene. All right, the double bond's been removed, but I still name the resulting polymer as if it, uh, as if the double bond was still present. So polyethene. 